If you're a Disney fan, you most likely have heard that Disney is in the process of retheming Splash Mountain rides in both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. They are changing it up from the Song of the South uh, Br'er Rabbit theme to a Princess and the Frog theme. Without getting into everything that went into that, today we're going to be discussing a recent rumor about how that change might affect Walt Disney World. Princess and the Frog movie is based in New Orleans, so the first issue that I thought of when I heard about the re-theme was, okay, Splash Mountain is by definition a mountain. The whole point of the ride is the big drop and the splash, right? So New Orleans is not known for mountains, so it seems a bit out of place. I'm not sure exactly how they're going to make that work, but okay, we'll assume for now that they will, and we'll overlook that. Now in Disneyland, there is a New Orleans Square area which contains Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion and with Splash Mountain right at the end. So it would be easy to fit in the New Orleans themed Splash Mountain to the existing New Orleans Square area there. But in Walt Disney World, there is no New Orleans Square. Instead, there's Liberty Square, which contains the Walt Disney World version of the Haunted Mansion. There's a really cool detail that we're going to cover in an upcoming video that you can trace American history through the layout of the buildings in Liberty Square and down into Frontierland. Now again, we're going to cover this more in detail in a future video because I think it's a really neat uh, feature that most people overlook as they go through the parks. But to sum it up, you can notice that the first buildings in Liberty Square are more seaport New England style and then it moves to a later style in places like Philadelphia then down through Frontierland, you can see the progress of westward expansion all the way to the desert southwest area with Big Thunder Mountain. So all of that was designed and built into Disney World from the start. So anyway, now Disney has this problem of a New Orleans themed Splash Mountain at the end of Frontierland. How will this fit in? Well, a recent rumor seems to indicate that Disney is considering a huge change to make that work. What we are hearing, and this is just a rumor, there's, at this point nothing has been confirmed in any way, is that Disney would get rid of Frontierland entirely, extending Liberty Square slightly to incorporate some of the space on that side, and make the other half into a New Orleans Square area. But doing this creates a new problem, Big Thunder Railroad. This would leave Big Thunder out of place right past Splash Mountain and the New Orleans themed area. So building off of something Disney did mention in its Blue Sky Possibility at the last D23 convention in September of 2022, the rumor has Disney creating a new desert-themed area based off of Coco Movie, which was set in Mexico, which would then go into Encanto area and then into a villain's area, which would extend all the way around the lake to the Haunted Mansion. Okay, so what do I think about this? Well, there's lots of factors and issues to consider, etc., but let me just sum it up. I hate it. Okay, the idea of a villain's land I love. But beyond that, I think this is a terrible idea. So let's go over why. First, Frontierland is fundamental to the vision Walt had for both Disneyland and Walt Disney World. So I don't think it should just be tossed aside. I know things evolve and change, and that's kind of the way things have always been. And I can mostly deal with that but I don't think you can just remove a fundamental land from which the parks are based. As we talked about earlier, there's a whole flow of the park design from Liberty Square through Frontierland that would be completely lost if you do this. Many other aspects and attractions in Frontierland would either be lost or have to be rethemed as well, such as Country Bears and Tom Sawyer Island. And then we get into the idea of a Coco Land and an Encanto Land. This would lead me to a whole other tangent about land themed after movies or IP, which would be intellectual properties. I really don't like the idea of Disney's recent move to make everything based off IP, especially lands. Now, I have nothing against either Coco or Encanto. They're both great movies, but I just don't see basing whole lands off of them. I don't feel that this idea fits with the whole theme of the Magic Kingdom, but there's nothing else like that. I could spend a whole video on this idea, but I think it's just lazy and a lack of creativity to just constantly recycle ideas by generating sequel after sequel. It's the same idea here. 
The original Disneyland and Magic Kingdom had plenty of attractions that were based off of IP, sure. But they also had things like the Haunted Mansion, Pirates, Jungle Cruise, It's a Small World, so many more. All of these were not based off of any IP. They were just creative projects that Walt had or the Imagineers had and they envisioned and brought to life in the parks. I wonder if any attraction like the Haunted Mansion or any of these others that I mentioned would even be made today. I just think it's a shame and a loss to make everything based off of IP and to lose that creativity and imagination that really went into making the parks in the first place. So my hope is that most of what we're hearing about in this rumor never happens, except the villain's land. What I think would work is if they could take the corner of Frontierland there by Splash Mountain and make that into a New Orleans themed area and retheme Pico's Bill into a New Orleans style restaurant which definitely needs to be included in any retheming to the New Orleans area. You have to have a restaurant. So what do you think? Do you like this idea or hate it? Do you think it will happen at all? Do you have any other suggestions on what Disney should do? Let us know in the comments. Thanks, and like and subscribe our videos so we can keep doing this.